Welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The largest hands-on RV training academy in America. Hey, before we get to the video, which I know this is the reason why you're here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Now, back to our Tech Tip Tuesday. Hey, we got some questions. You know, Todd, why do we need to clean the coils if we could just keep our filters clean? And what I want to do is we're back over here at the National RV Training Academy, and I'm going to facilitate what an air conditioner looks like when air doesn't pass through the coils. Now, typically that could be because of restrictions. That restriction can be that we have a dirty air filter before the coils. It could be that I have a lot of dirt on the coils. Now, we've also done a video, which you can click right here to see how to properly clean those. But I'm gonna take this small piece of uh, styrofoam and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it behind the coils. Now, what happens with the standard air conditioner is I have a fan, fan motor back here, that draws the air through the evaporator coils. This is where the cold freon is. There's a heat exchange. Voila, I've got less hot air inside the RV. But what happens when we go ahead and clog these up? In other words, why do I need to clean the coils if I'm just changing out the filter? Now that can be because a lot of dirt ends up here, gets past the filter and ends up here. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, you know, create a situation to basically take away the airflow. My compressor is still gonna pump the cold freon through here. So I'm gonna set this in and we'll see roughly in about three minutes. We're gonna try a time lapse. What's gonna happen is that cold freon, there's no air going across there. So the moisture in the air is gonna end up freezing right here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the little peacemaker here and I'm just gonna turn on the compressor. So the compressor comes on and probably in about three minutes, we're gonna see ice forming right here. Now, typically this also would mean that I could turn on, you know, typically when you turn your air conditioner, fan goes across. I'm not using the fan right now, so I'm facilitating this. I'll go ahead and turn this on. So here I have my air, the air is trying to suck across through here, but there's no airflow across here. So my coils are pretty cold. Actually, they're getting really cold. And over time, we're gonna see that this turns frosty. So let's just watch the time lapse for a second. Now we see it begins to frost up, right? Now, if it takes a little bit of time to do that, you'll see this here. Watch what happens when I remove my little restriction. Notice how quickly, did you hear the motor? At first it was revving high, now we see the, re the motor actually revving low. So if we keep our coils clean, the air conditioner is gonna run more efficiently. We're gonna get a heat transfer. If I put this back in, You hear the motor go up a little bit, this will begin to freeze up. In result, I don't get cold air uh, in the RV. As a matter of fact, I really don't feel much air at all. This will begin to freeze back up here. So this is why, I'm going to go ahead and turn this off. This is why it's important not only for us to go ahead and clean out our filters to the air conditioner, but from time to time, go ahead and clean the coils, right? Because of whenever these don't clean, I don't get the heat transfer and the air conditioner runs harder. And there's your tech tip. All right, before you get to the bloopers, which is why you're here in the first place, the RV industry needs thousands of RV technicians and inspectors, and now is the perfect time to do that. If you want to make more money or have more control over your time, go ahead and click the link below. Or if you just want to learn how to fix your own RV, got something for you there. Head over to rvtechcourse.com and get started today. Now for the reasons that you're out there in the video, roll the bloopers. Class prop. Ah, I got nothing. What do you got? Boom, no mess ups. Well, of course it looks good. I'm standing in front of it. 